Hello, my name is Julie McCrossan and just under two years ago I was diagnosed with uh, stage 4 throat cancer. I'm sitting in the room where I had my radiation treatment uh, and I had cancer primarily in my tonsils, on the back of my tongue and also on the side of my throat. Oh, look, being told that uh, you've got cancer was a very frightening experience. I I've worked as a radio broadcaster for the ABC for many years. I've interviewed many, many people who've had cancer, but I don't think it in any way diminished the shock and the fear that I felt. And th to be qu completely honest with you, that I continued to feel in the weeks and even months that followed. Look, what was going through my head in the beginning was just a, a, a great concentration on what the clinical team, my two doctors, radiation oncologist and a surgeon and the allied health team and the nurses were telling me and a powerful desire to do exactly what they said. I was really lucky in that I was able to start treatment only about 10 days after diagnosis. I, I had treatment uh, every day for a month radiation every day and uh, chemo once a week and I just very much concentrated on trying to do what I ever could whatever I could to give myself the best chance. My preparation for treatment was very very quick uh, but I was grateful for that because I got into treatment more quickly. One of the things I noticed was that from the moment I was told that I had cancer, I found it hard to concentrate on what the doctors and the nurses were telling me, and I often had trouble remembering what they said. I was lucky in that I had uh, my best friend from school and also my partner and one other friend who came with me in sort of a, a roster to every appointment. So I was never by myself and they were able to take notes. Uh, because I found uh, very quickly that I, I had trouble remembering what people were saying. 